What's, What's up, up AK family? family? We are in the Pacific Northwest for the very first time in Portland, Oregon, and we are doing some amazing stuff today. Kyra, tell us what we're doing. So you guys today, first of all, we are here in Portland with Camp Yoshi. They are an outdoor organization and they're all about getting people of color outside. Yes. Get out the house. Yes. We used to be outside. Our parents used to put us out and like, they didn't let us come back in. But y'all, we outside, outside And now, now we don't want to get back outside. So we outside. We outside, outside. So they have a jam-packed schedule for us today. We are going to be doing so much yes. stuff. We're super excited. But to start off, we are here at the Tilium Lake. And we're learning how to fly fish. We're going to fly fish, you guys. This is crazy. We're about to get in the water. We're going to get suited and booted. Yes. And we're going to get in the water and we're going to catch some fish. So we're going to take you guys along the way. Let's go. All right, y'all, we are dressed. Look at Erin. Look at Aaron, he got his boots on. <laughs> we got our gear on. Guys, look. Oh my gosh. And we are about to get in the water. I feel like a tap dancer. So if you bring the rod tip forward to get this forward. line to go out flat. Oh. Yep, exactly. Uh -huh. Try that and just put a little bit more into it. It's called a roll cast. So if you just bring that fly line tight. Ah, uh, so okay. Bring it back, be tight. Got it. Oh, okay, okay. So, so bring then it I back just... to 10 o'clock, the rod tip. 10. Yep. There you go. And then just wait just like a second longer. Great. Oh, just a little bit longer. Yeah, just a little bit. So then that line comes tight, and then when you bring it forward, she's a natural. Kind of that whole way. So like that. <laughs> oh, no, not, that's too no, no. quick. Yeah, that's it was just a, a little just bit a longer. Little bit. Yeah. You got the right idea. Yep. Boom. There you go. Oh! Let's go! Let's vlog that! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> okay. You keep your rod tips within that, that, ten, that and two. 10 o'clock and two. Ten, two, ten, two. Yeah, two. and just figuring ah! out that timing and that motion, and then gotcha. it, you know, it becomes pretty. All right. So it's all about the patience. Yep, exactly. That's one of the reasons why I do this, because it's so different from what I do in my daily life. Having patience is. Super and it's super rewarding when you figure something like this out, because it is like you have to slow down. You have to pay attention to stuff that you wouldn't normally pay attention to. Have to be this is crazy. So All right. Back over your shoulder slowly to two o'clock. Yep. Four to ten. You see how that, that's staying much tighter through the, yeah. the cast? That's what you want. There you go. And you're stopping the rods up higher now, which is why that line is staying tight, which is exactly what you want. Got gotcha. you. Fly fishing. So right now, we're going to have Phil to show us. The perfect cast for him. Oh. Yes, yeah. the no expert. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. Yeah, no no pressure. pressure. <laughs> so as I was showing you guys, really it's like it's all a understanding of motion. So if you wait just that second and keep that line tight, it's really more of like a feeling and emotion that when you cast, the rod mainly does the work for you. What was fly fishing actually? Um, how was it developed? As a oh, as a as an know, artist, <laughs> you know, I'm not a historian. Oh, okay. but I will say that, like, from a, a United States perspective, um, from what I know, it started in the mountains of Pennsylvania. So mm -hmm. a lot of people that were kind of trout fishing and stuff on those streams were fishing with like bamboo rods and uh, they were fishing with silk lines, stuff that was, you know, I mean, this was a hundred years ago. Sure. All right, so we just finished our fly fishing excursion. What do you think? I loved it. It was so different than anything we've ever done. And now we've worked up a little bit of an appetite. Yes, we did. <laughs> so we're going to go and grab some food um, because I think it's absolutely necessary because we got so much more yeah. in store mm -hmm. for AK fam. Today, we are here at Mount Hood Timberline Lodge. Yes, we are up here and it's just like jaw dropping. Yeah. <laughs> and how beautiful. It, I, I'm ready to pack Crazy. my bags. Crazy. And we just had a good meal. We had Caesar salads with 
Some salmon on top. We went into the lodge. We went and ate at the bar that's upstairs. It's called Ram's Head Bar. And the food was really tasty with a gorgeous view of the mountains looking mm -hmm. out like this huge window. Um, just a fun fact about this place, The Shining was filmed here in mm. this lodge. Wow. So that's going to be some, like, I know somebody right it's now was no like, for me. somebody was like, oh, I know somebody just did that. Huh. Oh my God. But this view of Mount Hood is just insane. There are people up there skiing right now. They look like little bitty dots, but we can see them going down the snow. And it's just incredible to get this up close shot of Mount Hood right here. It's crazy. Yeah. This is awkward. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's do it. What? You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Setting up tents and things. Setting the tent up. Stop playing. First of all, the tent is so cute. And little. Hey, K family, would y'all come ah. camping with us? Is y'all coming camping yeah, with us? Yeah, y'all want to go on a camping trip with us? This rock's kind of big. Yeah, I'll give you this one. Yeah, I'll take this one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't try to. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. We equal opportunity camping company, man. Everyone, you know, they get <laughs> Gotta knock down some steaks. I got a baby rock. <laughs> I got an adult rock. <laughs> nah. Wow. We are an equal opportunity camping company. Yeah. Everyone gets the same rock. If not, it's all good. Sorry about that. I don't have the same rock. <laughs> never seen Kyra in the outdoors. Y'all better recognize I does this. You does this? Yeah. First of all, let's, let's, let's go back. Go back a little bit. That's on period. Huh? You do this. I does this. No, but seriously. Y'all put hooked on phonics in the comments. Hooked on phonics. What did you say, Eric? Hooked on phonics. That's Thank good. No. Um, seriously though, growing up, like, I used to stay camping. My dad took us camping so often. So honestly, it is really good to be back out here in nature because it's been a while. And for us to be in Oregon, in Portland, camping like this, it's taking it up to another level because when we would camp, we would just go to the lake. If you're familiar with Huntsville, Lake Gunnersville, which is like, it's nice, but it's not this, okay? So, we out here. Purr! So now we are putting out our beds into our tent and you guys look at this. This is what you get when you come with Camp Yoshi. You get a memory foam pad. Come on. And it's a nice, thick memory foam pad, too. Come on. So you put this down. You are not sleeping on the ground. You are sleeping in comfort. So I'm going to roll out my mm -hmm. sleeping bag. And that. And you look at this. And you tell me that, that y'all wouldn't have good sleep in here. Tell me that this does not look like a good setup. Come on now. I'm telling you. Looks looks pretty comfy to me. We got a pillow and everything. <sighs> I'm telling you, this is so comfortable. I can sleep well like this. Mm -hmm. Should I lay out straight? Like two <sighs> cars can fit in here on her on her side. Yep. Cause she's so tiny. Camp Yoshi is where you get the memory foam. I love it. Good night, everyone. Ha! Uh, bye bye. -ya. See you in the next video. Bye bye. -ya. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are those your shoes in my Stop. living habitat? Stop! Alright y'all, we just finished some uh, some work stuff. Um, yeah. And y'all see it in a little bit. Okay, y'all see it in a little bit. But, uh, Rashad, which is the co-founder of Camp Yoshi, uh, and we'll introduce you guys to him. He and our representative uh, that's working with us from uh, the work we're doing said they have a surprise for us. Yeah, what is it? So we don't know what the surprise is. So like we're we're in the dark. So no 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 you're good you're good. Nick, let Rashad come let 
<laughs> Say hello to the vlog. What's up? This is my homie Aaron. <laughs> We're just hanging out. Great this, time. This is my man Rashad. He is the co-founder of Camp Yoshi. Uh, you guys definitely need to check them out. Um, we will leave their tag information uh, in the description, and we will also leave their tag as a yeah on the screen, of right. course. Some morale is high. Somewhere in here. <laughs> Good day. Um, Good so times. yeah, we yeah. just we yeah. we're, we're 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 trying to see what the surprise is that you guys have for us. I'm not gonna say anything. Well, let's just I'll just tell you it's one of the icons of Oregon. What? Our waterfalls. <gasps> I'll leave it at that. No way. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, our, our waterfall chasing is a big thing in Oregon. That's so Oregon is pretty special. So waterfalls. Yeah. I think a great reward for y'all's work. Oh. I appreciate it. So after we set up camp, we headed to Columbia Gorge for our hike. Fun fact, that is the Columbia River and on the other side is Washington. I thought that was cool. We didn't know where we were going to be hiking, so to find out that we were hiking to one of Oregon's most beautiful waterfalls and in America's largest national scenic area was a really great surprise. We seriously cannot believe how beautiful Oregon is. There was truly beauty around every corner. It was insane. We went closer to sunset, which was great because it wasn't too hot outside. So we finished our hike and Littoral Falls was was our reward I mean look at this guys it was so worth the journey what a great way to end our day of adventure it is our last morning here in Portland mm -hmm. and I'm not ready to leave I'm not going I'm not leaving we're not leaving I'm not I'm not leaving we're not leaving what movie is that from yeah you guys comment down below <laughs> and say what movie that's from but this morning, before we head to the airport, we are going to get some breakfast. So come along, join us for breakfast, and let's go. Yeah, yeah. Guys, one thing that I've noticed about Portland, there's a lot of people without homes here, and it's really sad. Surprisingly, though, I feel like the streets are clean. Mm-hmm. Right, Aaron? Yeah. The streets are clean, and they're very wide. Like, did you notice that? Yeah. Just these walkways, they're super wide. But currently we are downtown and we're actually close to this area called the Pearl District. We walked around a little bit. The first day we got here, we went down to the Powell's Bookstore, which is the largest independent bookstore in America. Mm -hmm. And it's it was crazy. an experience. <laughs> like yeah. it just kept going and going and going. And I'm a big fan of bookstores. Bookstores are like, shutting down left and right these days which is so sad to me so i love 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 a bookstore yeah we're just walking to breakfast this place that i found online and hopefully it's good so kyle was making mention of the homeless issue here which is a you know prominent issue but it's all they also have a drug problem here yes i've um, never seen some people like light up on the street like oh they have the aluminum yes. and lighters um so that's disheartening but all in all, the city is still beautiful. It's a beautiful city. It really is. Um, and it's, like Kyra said, it's clean, surprisingly. Yeah. You know? But we were learning last night that during George Floyd's execution in the street, mm. there were like the riots and stuff here. They vandalized so many shops and a lot of shops didn't come back. So the, the storefronts and stuff where they are are just boarded up areas now. Yeah, so just to let y'all know, because Nike and Adidas, their headquarters yeah. are here, yeah. which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact <laughs> about Oregon, we learned that the U.S. Olympic runners, they practice here in Oregon. Portland and Oregon seems to be a very active city. city. Yeah, absolutely. Very active. Absolutely. All the active wear companies from accessories to clothing, mm -hmm. backpacks, they're all like, they have a big presence here. Yeah. Yeah, which is so cool. It, it inspires you, honestly, to, it makes you want to be outside. Yeah. So now, I'll show you guys where we are. Like, look at this. This is really nice. We are on, what's the name of the street? Yam Hill Street yeah. and 4th Ave. Yeah. So look at this, a, we've got a Gucci store, Louis Vuitton over here i just figured out where we are because this sign right here we are in the pioneer district mm -hmm. so i am assuming that every district here in downtown has a name which is cool so yeah look at this like look at how the streets are so the walkways are really wide you got a is this an apple store yeah look at that yeah Time store that's Dang. Um, 
just right. And as you can see, oh, they have and that's George, George Floyd. Floyd, right? So it it just oh goes back to gosh. you know what we got. We were telling you guys, they had to board up the Louis Vuitton store. I don't think they've come back. And that's why there's so many Black Lives Matter stuff around yeah. the city. I just real there's Black Lives Matter. Um, signs and stuff like that all over the city mm -hmm. interesting that's crazy that we were just talking about that and i said oh here's a louis vuitton but it's not open it's boarded up yep as we are here in pioneer square south and you see there are you're setting up a studio for a function that they have going on this weekend it's kind of vibe over here kind of a vibe and it's right across the street from the Pioneer Courthouse there in the distance. Kyra's up there in line about to order at the food truck. And we're gonna see what they have to offer. And of course, Starbucks coffee, which is always Kyra's favorite place to be. We about to grub. Guys, we're over here in the square and we're at Fried Egg. I'm in love. I am in love because it smells so good over here mm. and the line was long. So we about to get some of these breakfast sandwiches. Ooh, I'm so excited. Man, I wish we had time to eat here because the menu looks so good. Rolling Fresh, the sushi burrito of the Northwest. Oh my gosh. Hello. We sit down to eat. We got our food and oh my God. It smells so good. It really does smell good. This is how it's come, it comes packaged. Yes. It's like a sandwich in a little blanket. I got the... Huevo Mutilation, that was the name of it. And I'll have what's included in it on the screen. I got the Yoko Ono. Ono, yes. The Yoko Ono is what I got. While we were waiting for the food, the sun has just mm. blossomed. It's a beautiful day. The weather here has been great. Fantastic. We Blue skies, clear skies. Beautiful weather. It's time to eat though. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's a good sandwich. As Keith Lee would say, for sure, you're right on. Oh. 10. This is a 10 out of 10. And to top it off, we got Starbucks. I just got a pink drink. A pink drink is Aaron's go to drink mm -hmm. at Starbucks. I get all kinds of concoctions at Starbucks. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for that day. It's a good doggone sandwich. I'm telling you what. It's crispy, crackly, and it's hot. hotel room but our trip here in Oregon has come to a close we're about to go to the airport um, and we've had a great time here in Oregon it is our it was our first trip to Pacific Northwest yes and we had a blast it was a jam-packed day yesterday all good things must come to an end um, this was literally the shortest trip ever so we really flew in and we flying out so this was just like a teaser of mm -hmm. the Pacific Northwest, but we saw a lot yesterday and man, we want to see so much more. Yep. So comment down below if you're from here, anywhere, whether you're from Oregon or the Pacific Northwest, comment down below. Tell us the most amazing places here in this region that are must see places like nature wise and or just anything whether it's nature or buildings activities let us know we have to come back one day we are so grateful to camp yoshi for having us out here in portland we just got a taste of camp yoshi and we were talking with rashad like he's such a great guy mm -hmm. and, and he was a great host fantastic host he was with us all day long driving us around making sure we got uh, to have some very unique experiences. And so we want to come back. We want to do a full Camp Yoshi experience because mm -hmm. this was a teaser. We want to do the whole thing, the whole thing. Yes. So one day we will come back out here. But yeah, it's about time for us to head out. We got to get to the airport so we can get back home. But thank you all so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.